Sports University Demand Committee launches poster campaign demanding immediate establishment of National Sports University in Manipur. Joint Peace Committee urges authority concerned to shift 54 Battalion BSF B Company from Litan Makong, Hairok. And officials of Manipur and Myanmar amicably settled the skirmish of a sale of Yongchak at Nampalong Gate in Mori border. Hello and welcome. You're watching Impact Prime Time News. I'm Butchie Manbam with the top stories. National Sports University Construction Demand Committee Manipur began a poster campaign demanding immediate establishment of National Sports University in the state. The campaign will cover all the districts of Manipur. Posters and placards that read set up sports university immediately. Sports university must not be constructed at disputed land and a government should be held responsible if the university is shifted to other states were used in the campaign. Vice President of the committee, Ahong Sangbam Rupaban, told the Impact News that the statement of Chief Minister Okrami Bobi Singh in the recent assembly session that an area measuring 336.93 acres at Yaitibi Lokol have been handed over to Youth Affairs and Sports Ministry is baseless and unfounded. Urging everyone to strive together to establish a sports university, Rupaban appealed for an agenda or theme for this year's Yaoksheng Sports. Mention may be made that the centre decided to set up a sports university in Manipur in view of the state's potential in the field of games and sports and to encourage the sports persons of Manipur. National Sports University is a two month in the Saga, the Hiva, Rizulu, Lovirega. National Sports University demand construction committee that Tabi Ragnaba, I call you Laksanaba, Club Club Nuzanaba, Asimoga, Warep, Logzanabi, Tanza, Hue Logzege, Yosumung, the Sports, the Lunga Menunda, Hariba, Possessing the Sisu Tepiba, Lunana Liblet, Yembiba, Lunana, Sports Gi Prize Gi, a Huegi Pirakba Matamda, Kahani Closing Ceremony Matamda, Warep, a Mamma Lovinaba had to Apple Dozeri. The first media exposure trip organized by the Editors Guild Manipur in connection with the Act East policy of Government of India is all set to leave for Thailand on March 22. Fourteen editors belonging to both print and electronic media are expected to join the exposure trip. The objective of the trip is to familiarize the editors of Manipur and to expose the Manipur media to equip themselves with the changes taking place in the neighboring Southeast Asian countries even as India is aggressively implementing the ACTIS policy. This is the first of series of tours that the EGM will be organizing with the help of different agencies. This trip is being organized with the support of various government departments, individuals, well-wishers and contribution from the participants themselves. MLA Dr. I. Ibu Halbi today emphasized that no development can take place in Manipur unless people decide to do away with the culture of making money with no work. Speaking at the closing day of the seven-day classical Silai school training organized by People's Development Society at New Chekon, Dr. Ibu Halbi said all need to work hard tirelessly to make achievements. The training was held under Usha Silai school program of USA International Limited. It was organized jointly by People's Development Society and this Bandhu Club. Twenty trainees from Bishnupur district took part in the training. MLA Sanasam Bir Singh and Deputy Manager Gawahati USA International Limited Manoj Kumar Sharma were among those present at the event. USA sewing machines were handed over to 20 trainees. Students of National Institute of Technology, NIT Manipur, organized Swachh Bharat campaign yesterday as part of the Cultural and Technical Festival Ogri 2016. 
The campaign was held in the streets of Imaqitil. In an effort to spread the message of cleanliness among the general public, the students cleaned the roads in Pauna and Tangal Bazar. More than 50 students took part in the campaign, supervised by the Ugri 2016 faculty in charge, Dr. Ngangbam Romajit Singh. National Wars, Wars Awareness Week as part of the Swachh Bharat mission kicked off yesterday in Thaubal. The program was jointly organized by Public Health Engineering Department, Thaubal Division and Youth Volunteers Association, Wangjing. People also took out a rally and held a workshop. A public rally was held as part of the inauguration of National Rural Drinking, Water and Sanitation Week held under Swachh Bharat Mission Gramin in Bishnupur headquarters. The rally was organized by District Water and Sanitation Committee. The rally started from Bishnupur Mayengbam Community Hall and passed through Bishnupur Bazaar and ended at Kiamba Ningxing Sanglin where an awareness program was held. In Jirubam also, a week-long awareness program on drinking water and sanitation kicked off today at PWD Guest House Bhavapara, Jirubam. The awareness program is organized by Public Health Engineering Department under the Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation. Joint Peace Committee against atrocity by terrorists drew the attention of the authority concerned to shift the 54 Battalion Border Security Forces B Company from Litan Makong, Hairok. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club, convener of the committee, Laishram Mandir said, BSF personnel stationed at the post remained as spectators when suspected NSC and IM cadres assaulted laborers, engaged in dam construction and snatched mobile phone and money from them on March 10. Maintaining that dam construction and tourist sport construction are not related. The convener also refuted NSA and IM's clarification that they carried out the action for encroaching on the land of Kulsaibung village for the construction of tourist sport. Laishra Mandir added that any objection regarding the construction whatsoever should have been directed towards the authority concerned. Thonozam Narsing, head of the laborers, stated that NSN IMS claim that they did not take money from the laborers is a blatant lie and said the NSN IM cutters snatched the money from him after assaulting the laborers. On their way back, the cutters also snatched a mobile phone belonging to T. Manichandra, contract lecturer of uh, Hairok Higher Secondary School. Tourist sport is เนี่ยมันก็เลยเนี่ยแบบมุกนบเสอธุมตํานสันตายตงนนบกิตายตงพี่หันจะนี่กิกะเมนะถกชาละตึกเตียดูกิอภพะตะถลพดูกะเมน
has asked them to present the model in the International Liver Congress to be held from April 13 to 17 in Barcelona, Spain. State see the advocacy to be given among the citizens and other data. I'm a captain. CMC and it's some some not all over testing models. They globally am the career. I'm gonna recognize the Viraga. A coibu invite the Virag by the I'm not so back one Katagin that an estate. See, I'm so a chip many money put that all over Tabak say. I don't everywhere. I don't send us another Zanico Pazaba Zanico. Prohibition imposed on crossing border gap between Moray and Namphalong following a skirmish among the Yongchak three bin traders yesterday has been lifted today. An understanding was reached after a meeting between the officials of Myanmar and Manipur at the Immigration Office Myanmar located at gate number 2 for one hour from 8 to 9 this morning. Additional SP Moray, ADC Moray and officials of Customs Department comprised the Manipur team while Myanmar team was led by SP Tamu. Representatives of Maitai Council, Moray and Yongchak traders also took part in a meeting. The meeting resolved that traders from Myanmar will bring three bins up to the border and then traders from Manipur will purchase them at the border. As soon as the meeting was over, gate number two connecting Moray and Namphalong was opened to public. Walmart, I am a patana Mahona Lautoki, Walmart, Iran problem, they were the gay outside the gay foreigner Gari, say, I'm not the Sangan by Aroy, except Paul Villal, Palmit, Lorega, Sangida Vinny, Autoni, what do fight? Baini, Sangway Aroy. Other boy, Yong Tak City, Nangoy Larga, Nasada Pura, Chalo, Ehoimina, Moreda, we join our country, the Ehoyon, you and Roy. Association of All Manipur Unreserved Waiting List Candidates for Primary Teachers 2006 today states a sit-in demanding their rights to employment at Keshampat Lairembi Community Hall. They demanded that the government fulfill the order of the High Court of Manipur to issue appointment order to 81 candidates who were in the waiting list of the recruitment of primary teachers held in 2006. Members of the association, candidates and their families took part in the sit-in. The association also submitted a memorandum to the authority concerned urging to appoint the 81 candidates in unreserved waiting list and as 242 OVC candidates who were included in the notification of the recruitment were already appointed. October <laughs> Tarukta Justice case no been Honorable High Court of Manipur Justice na Tabiki primary Ozalo we matan the Tabiki Rai. Hi, buddy. I'm the direction sing. I'm the order sing. I do tapak ta unthok piu. Hi, the government na thamze bani. Ta sing na oipam thokwa ekoi waiting list ta thambiri ba anurizab kata gori the thambiri ba ozam marfuma thoye si. Athu matam appointment piu. Kari gumwa hi riba appointment si piu da ba ta aragadi ekoi gi organisation si na court ta sasa tu na ekoi gi wakat thamze bani hi sma hi jari. MSU Imphal West District Committee will organize a state-level mega painting competition on the 20th of this month as part of its Golden Jubilee celebration at Thao Ground, Thangwaiban. MSU, in a press release, appealed to all not to call for bond or blockade on this day for smooth conduct of the competition. People held protest at Langdum High School ground against the planting of a bullet at the gate of Kangabam Sanatomba. Sanatomba is the Secretary of Southwest Langdum Electronic Consumer Welfare Organization. The protest was organized by Southwest Langdum Electronic Consumers Welfare Organization. It may be recalled that Sanatomba found a bullet wrapped in a white paper at his gate while he was taking his child for private tuition on March 15, around 4.30 in the morning. Yam you in a chain chung jiriba egi yambasi hariba aki a kung piramasi kanagumba mio mataga shri kangam shana jumbaga manglam chata no aina kidaba karigumba matasule hidi adubu miyam the kredam or shu shapan mangam mudra my pangan mangam mudra hidna changsil iba shida magu aki a kung piramasi the shangna yam the tamoshona no aite the shangna tonapana tonapa or get it on topiro mi manga open talk to she karambo organization and no Electronics, pin, prints, media, my kid, two matum shendo pio. A one day free mega medical camp was organized in Moray by Moray Police and Shiza Hospital. Around 19 doctors treated a number of people at the camp. Residents of Myanmar also availed facilities. 
Now it's time for a short break. We'll be back soon. Keep watching Impact News. Manipur ki ahamba beautification center mapam sida mahing uring unsa khoiba ari badak pham phahan bangami tetu mall freckle na ching basu lothok payai hakchang ki ahen ba fet pam da body ki hair lothok payai ahan ba lakpi ba 100 customer da skin test amadi doctor consultation lem na hingjagan ngasimak una view doctor modubala laser beauty clinic mz avenue infal welcome back Two-day World TB Day observance began today at the Network for Positive People in Far West and PPIW in Moirang Khom Loklaubong. The program is jointly organized by Network for Positive People in Far West and Vihan CSC. Speaking at the inaugural function, Imphal West T District TB Officer Chong Tham Memcha said even though TB is a deadly disease, it is completely curable. Imphal West District AIDS Control Officer Dr. S. Gopal said people living with HIV need to be, uh, regularly check for TB as they are vulnerable to it. A conference on revised National Tuberculosis Control Program on the theme Unite to End TB was held today in connection with the 35th World TB Day to be observed on March 24. The conference was organized by State TV Cell Manipur at STDC IRL Hall, Lamphel Part. Speaking at the event, State TV Officer Dr. Yumnam Gopal Krishna said Manipur is the first state to install CBNAAT technology to diagnose MDR TB. This technology has already been installed at Jenims, Churachanpur, and Sanapati District Hospital in 2013, and another five new machines will be installed to cover all the districts of the state. 15 million TB patients were treated under RNTCP. He said, although TB is a viral disease, it can be cured if treated on time. He said Manipur is the first to have molecular diagnostic facilities. He also said it is necessary for general public to be aware of the symptoms of the disease. It may be mentioned that in 1993, World Health Organization declared tuberculosis as a global epidemic. ART Center the Labor Medical Officer Singsina, a quiggy HIV Naba missing the TBC treatment on the number, Sungama program Malae, Masi, a quiggy Hanagi. Uh, intermittent therapy noma kalaga noma bizaba se masi su oiro nungti gi daily regimen daily regimen sena hena effective oil na haibane ba effective oil da bidak maya ma la paje si da anau ba hidak ama bidak kulin haiba hidak anau ba ama khogi program se da introduce taro pa se yamna phabra na khali at least mdr na tak xdr patient sing si ma khoi si hena khoi na hana taro ma si da gi hena treatment taw ba hena effective oil gadra na khali ko well-known Tar Sahnai player Bachaspati Mayum Krishna Chandra Sharma passed away on March 14 at his residence in Thaubal Awang Lekai. He was 94. He was awarded State Kala Award in 2009. As a member of the SCON, he had performed in many countries including the USA, Europe, Canada and Singapore. National Integration Camp organized by Nehru Yuva Kendra Imphal East began today at Kumalampak Sports Complex, Kangsheng. As part of the camp, Net India stalls and photo exhibition was also opened today. 14 states were invited to participate in the integration camp. Participants from seven states have already arrived while some are on their way to Imphal. In North East Kiwi na, ako ay Hyderabad State Capital kundi mukatawi at opa as over state sindadi ako ay state amada ako ay anito pusyawi Hyderabad programa si ako na state level na tawo iba ay di state capital na tawo iba programa si na taba at opa district na tawo iba ako ay sa mga mga amso tawo ni Hyderabad programa si ako ay chahi kudingi adum tawo iba ako ay gisubis dehuri iba kaya na sinza ba special programa mani programa si dahil ako ay na tawo jeri ba si bahad asid na lady ba zat bizat adu ka language kaya na ba may amso si amato ina punsin ba ba ako ay culture adu ka may experience programa mga kaya na ako Twelve Bihar distributed stationary items, bags and tiffin boxes to students of Chobung Company Village Government Primary School and arranged lunch for them. A singing competition was organized for the students and winners were presented with case prizes. Villagers appreciated the steps taken by army to make Chobung Company a model village. Fast moving electrical goods company Havels India Limited today opened an exclusive retail showroom Havels Galaxy at Hafiz Hatta, New Chekon Road. 
The showroom will be run by Home Decora and it is the first in Manipur and the eighth showroom in Northeast India. General Manager Sandeep Kumar Pukan said quality and energy efficient electrical appliances ranging from uh, industrial switch gear, CFL, electrical water heater will be available in the showroom. Havels is one of the largest electrical player in India. We have got different products like industrial products, domestic products and in each, in each and every segment we are either market leader or number two in that segment. And here for the people of Manipur, we, I, my message is that we have got gamut of energy efficient product. Now the country is very much concern, conscious about this energy efficiency as well as environment. Price of petrol has been hiked by rupees 3.7 and uh, that of diesel by rupees 1.90 per liter including VAT. The new rate came into effect midnight last night. With this now petrol cost rupees 57.78 and diesel cost rupees 46.35 in Imphal. In a statement, Indian Oil Corporation said the hike was necessitated by rising international prices of petrol and diesel and rupee dollar exchange rate. The petrol price was last cut by rupees 3.02 per litre on March 1, while diesel on that day was hiked by rupees 1.47 per litre. Now in sports, Manipur Police Sports Polo Club A have entered the final of the 26th Governor's Cup Invitational Polo Tournament. In the first semi-final of the tournament, played at Imphal Polo Ground, Manipur Police Sports Polo Club A thrashed 10 Polo Club Wangkai 8 nil. For the winners, S. Bimol and S. Abungcha scored 3 goals each, while M. Jawan and O. Surja Kumar scored 1 each. Kurai Polo Club and Eastern Students Polo Club Nomaibung will class for a berth in the final in the second semi final tomorrow. Defending champion FC Jalan have retained the Kanglai Med Champion Trophy. In the final match played yesterday at Saikul Block Playground, FC Jalan Southern Hills beat SK Soccer Churachanpur in penalty shootout. The tournament was organized by District Sports Association Southern Hills. JSYC Southern Hills back their third place while DM Rao the fourth place. Blue Hawk Kurai beat Pasoi Taumang Rising Club Pasoi Part 4 by 32 runs in the third MCA W Pralhad and W Ramananda Memorial Elite Cricket Tournament. Winning the toss, Blue Hawk Kurai batted first and were all out for 162 in 44 overs. In reply, Patsoi Taumang Rising Club were bowled out in 42.5 overs. They managed to make just 130 runs. Blue Hawk Kurai's all-rounder Samson was declared man of the match for 29 runs and 4 wickets. The tournament is organized by Manipur Cricket Association at Luang Popo Cricket Stadium, Luang Shangwam. Model Club Chingamaka and Youth Welfare Club Langthabal will clash tomorrow. Shanghai Champion Cricket Club Singchamai defeated Pioneers Sporting Club Kuyathong by two wickets in the third MCA Plate Cricket Tournament. Pioneers Sporting Club were all out for 176 in 34.2 overs. Shanghai Champion Cricket Club reached the target in 37.1 overs, losing nine wickets. Shanghai Champion Cricket Club batsman Kishan, who made 65 runs, was declared the man of the match. The tournament is organized by Manipur Cricket Association at Langthabal Cricket Ground. Nauria Pakhanglakpa Sports Association, Kha Imphal, will take on Youth Welfare Club Patsway tomorrow. UFLC Lamboy Konangkom, MSFB and Raju 11 Uripok beat their rivals in the first derby tennis ball cricket tour trophy played at the United Friends Library and Club Lamboy Konangkom ground. Three matches will be played tomorrow. Wushu Association of India has selected Sachidananda Mayanglambam, Senior Taulu Coach K. H. Bidyashwari Chanu and L. Nakomamaitai, both Senior Taulu players of the Wushu Association of Manipur in the four-member Indian team to take part in the 
Asian Double Tai Chi Chuan training course to be held in Hong Kong, China from April 24 to 28. That's all we have for the time being, but before we wind this session of the bulletin, let's have a look at the lines once again. Sports University Demand Committee launches poster campaign demanding immediate establishment of National Sports University in Manipur. Joint Peace Committee urges authority concern to shift 54 Battalion BSF B Company from Litan Makong, Hairok. And officials of Manipur and Myanmar amicably settled a skirmish over sale of Yongchak at Namphalong Gate in Moray.